Hey, what's up guys? This is Robert coming at you with another video here. Today we're going to talk about recording virtual instruments using MIDI in Pro Tools. So essentially there are two basic ways to record MIDI in Pro Tools and really two basic ways to record MIDI in almost any DAW. One is by using an instrument track and recording directly on that instrument track. And the second way is using a MIDI track to record into said instrument track. We're gonna demonstrate both ways here today. Now here we have our session from our creating tracks video and we're gonna go ahead and use the pieces that we've set up here. So all these tracks are created. Again though, if you wanted to create a track, you go Shift, Command, N and select stereo or mono, depending on what you wanna do. Your track type, uh, let's say we're doing an instrument track again, make sure that's set to ticks and you can name the track right here and hit create, or you can go to track, new, and you'll have the same screen right here again. So here's the first way that we use instrument tracks. So as you can see right here, I have synth one. So here we have expand. This is a free Pro Tools stock virtual instrument. I'm gonna go ahead and put on a random preset. We're gonna go with organic choir. And also on the hardware side of things, I have our trusty MIDI controller plugged in via USB. And when we have it armed to record, you should be able to hear it back. To arm something to record, you just click this red record button. So that's the first way to route MIDI in Pro Tools. The second way is a little more complicated, but it's the same general idea. So we have a MIDI track right here calling this lead MIDI. Now in this MIDI track, there are no parameters available. We can't use inserts, we can't use sends. And the reason for that is that MIDI only records information. It is only taking computer data that it then sends into something like a virtual instrument or a real synthesizer. If you had a real synthesizer, you'd use a MIDI track to send out information into that actual synth which then plays a real live sound. So this is the same concept, but we're staying all the way inside the box the whole time. So we have our lead MIDI, and we're gonna go to our output section. So we're telling Pro Tools where we wanna send our MIDI information. We click on that, and what you'll get is all of the instrument tracks that are in this session that have a virtual instrument loaded. So in our second instrument track, I pulled up a free contact instrument. Let's just go for hybrid keys. I like them. And I'll pull up a favorite preset. So we have our contact instrument here and we have it routed for channels one through 16. This defaults, so don't worry about this setting too much in contact. Contact can be very deep. It could be very simple depending on how you wanna use it. We're using it the simple way today. So let's go back to our MIDI track. And if we go to our output once again, as you can see, we can decide between contact MIDI in one and expand in one. Contact has up to 16 channels available, meaning 16 places we can put that MIDI information in and expand has four. A really easy way to grasp that concept is if we go back to expand and we see one, two, three, four places to go. So if I wanted to do this, as you can see this is already set to channel two. Now we go to C right here, go to channel three channel four. And if we go back to our MIDI track, let's say I wanna go into expand channel two. Let's select something random again. Let's go um, for an organ sound. Now, if I arm my MIDI track, not the instrument track, we're now sending MIDI information to synth one channel two. And our instrument, our virtual instrument track is saying, oh, I feel something coming in channel two. Here it comes and it's going out. And that's why we hear it. So same concept, but now let's go to our contact instrument. And we're just gonna use channel one. Notice I didn't arm the lead. I didn't arm synth one. I just have my MIDI enabled. Now, now contact works. So now we have contact playing for us. So those are the two ways to route MIDI in Pro Tools. 
Now, if we want to record, this is what we do. There are always two ways to do it. So we can hit the record button, which I have set to quick punch and just hit spacebar. So long as we have a track record enabled and we start recording. See how it got that data. Or you can always just hit three and it'll do the same thing. So if I hit three, it recorded that as well. Now, if I record enable the instrument track, my MIDI controller is only going to channel one. It's only reading that. It's not getting the organ track. So if I want to be able to use multiple MIDI channels, because let's say I like this synth and there are multiple patches that I really like on this synth and I want to be able to switch between them and I just want to record the MIDI data for them. Well, I can use that same one virtual instrument on one instrument track and route it via MIDI track and play every layer in. So that's all for this video. That is how you route MIDI in Pro Tools. A lot of people don't tend to think of Pro Tools as a producer's DAW. They don't tend to think of it as being super strong when it comes to MIDI routing. But really, you have all the flexibility you need once you really understand the DAW, once you really get your workflow going. So that's going to wrap it up for this one. Goodbye.